Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. Today we are showcasing another interesting item, a new one from something wicked. This is Acheron, I believe it's called, Acheron. Uh, killing enemies sometimes grants the effect for a random devil item for 90 seconds. Very interesting. I'm very curious to see if it's going to give us modded ones as well. We start with Pop and then also, we got a sack room, we're playing Maggie. We've got to play it. We've got to play it. See if we get anything spicy, but yeah. Random Devil Deal items coming at us seems pretty goddamn useful to me, so I'm hoping we can uh, see some cool stuff off the back of that. We get Holy Mantle right off the bat as well. Beautiful. Um, and I'm going to do this one more time, and we get just a Soul Heart. Okay, that's good enough, but yeah. Pop, Holy Mantle, and this interesting item to start with. I am wondering, it says, like, sometimes get devil items. I'm wondering how sometimes that will be. As for the question of the day, what's your favourite devil item, modded or vanilla? What is your favourite? I'd be very intrigued to know. But yeah, Pop early on is kind of interesting. I think Pop's one of those items that doesn't have a hell of a lot of impact early on, but it can be quite impactful later uh, if you get some interesting synergies with it. Ooh, we got this guy, hello. I'd rather not lose my mantle so I can escape here. But this is a particularly annoying enemy to fight low damage. Like, a, I say particularly. It's an incredibly annoying enemy to fight low damage. I think I can actually somewhat make him walk into the tiers. Yeah, there you go. That kind of works. I'll grab both of these, see if they do anything for us. Unfortunately, no all stats up. But still, we got some good money from them. Oh, really? You're going to make me do this. I hate this room with a burning passion. And I've gone around the wrong way as well. I've gone around the long way around. I realise I have Holy Mantle, so it's not as bad as it normally would be. Still, not a fan of this room when it does show up. So far, we haven't got a Devil Item yet. I'm wondering what the visual effect is going to be for, um, for grabbing a Devil Item. And it says we get it for 90 seconds as well. So that's a pretty decent amount of time. Um, that's like... I, I don't know. How much of a floor is that generally? 90 seconds is like half a floor sometimes. Depends on uh, how strong you are, I guess, or how long it'll sort of last in terms of in accordance to one floor. I'm at least going to grab this. Thank you. Uh, I'll do the rest just in case we get a penny here. There you go. A penny or two, baby. A penny or two. Don't have a key for that, but I might get one out of this room to the left here, so I'll go and have a little search a -roo. Come on now. Give me those devil items, baby. Give me those devil items. I want to see him. I want to see him. Well, uh, grab a little bit of HP there as well. I might use a bomb on the boss here, to be honest. Um, somewhat annoying boss. I can probably get him to stay reasonably still. Okay, no. Is this just the one that charges constantly and there's nothing I can do about it? It seems very much like that's the case. Again, with Pop, we can kind of let some shots linger and have them in waits for him. Which is a pretty good thing about Pop for uh, this scenario right here. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one that... Pretty much just charges. There's not much use in using a bomb here because I'll end up missing. I know I will. And at this point, yeah. N no more point using a bomb here either. Not that bothered about being hit here because I've still got my Holy Mantle. So I'm playing it a little more risky than I normally would. And we've got a Soul Heart for next floor as well. Oh, there you go. There you go. We got one. So we got um, this Sybil little baby here. So I wonder if bosses have a higher chance of giving or like a guaranteed chance of giving. Um, considering we didn't get a great item, I am going to go back and try and find a secret room. Normally, I think I'd, if I'd have got a good item, I'd just go to the next floor. But I think considering we didn't get an amazing item here, I can have a little scoot around trying to find a secret room real quickly. There you go, we found it already. Um, and we did actually make the sack room a little more plausible here um, for the next floor, I guess. Unfortunately, we've already got all we can at the sack room here. It was good, good nonetheless, though. Maybe that's the way we should have gone about that. Right. Second secret room. Do I have an inkling? It's it's almost definitely in this room here, but it could be either wall. I'm going to try this out. Ah. I'm not going to go for another bomb. I'd rather have one bomb backlogged and ready to go. But you can see, 90 seconds. It's a, it's a long time to have these devil items, especially if we get a few of them stacking up. I imagine that could be very, very useful for us. I mean, the Sybil Baby, whatever this one's called, not a particularly good item overall, but it's, it, it came to us for free. It came to us for free, so certainly no harm done, um, even if it's not the best. Well, I do love having Holy Mantle to be able to take up my risks. But yeah, I do, I do wonder 
what the chances are going to be of a regular enemy. Oh, come on now, dude. You're too fast and you've got this little dude on you. I wonder what the chance of a regular enemy giving us one is going to be. Because it seems like bosses might have a higher chance. Either that or I just got lucky there. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll play this. Since I've got Holy Mantle, I think it's kind of worth uh, taking some risks here. Because I've lost that item now. And we get ourselves... Effigy? Not bad, not bad. Uh, on occasion, rooms will randomly be filled with effigies rather than enemies. We can blow them up for wooden consumables as well, which is kind of nice. Saves us a few rooms here and there. A little bit of effort. We don't have to put into some rooms. Good, good. And yeah, we can get our health back right here, so... It's good that we've got our uh, yum heart. I just picked um, Maggie on a whim, to be honest. I don't know specifically why I picked Maggie, but... Pick Maggie on a whim. I kind of thought I'd be I'd be taking more devil deals as well here, but then we got the sack room straight off the bat and we get ourselves Tumor Head. Interesting. I can't remember what Tumor Head does actually. Um Fire Incation shoots a decaying tier that gives a decaying status effect. Um uh, well, that's pretty good. That seems useful. I like status effects. I like secret room items. I am down for this. Okay, you're gonna have to back off. Yeah, that decaying effect is kind of good. God, we need a key again. Oh, we do have the ability to get into our boss trap room here, which is very nice. We're still yet to see an item drop off of a regular enemy yet, though. Which I think I'm just getting really unlucky with, to be honest. Well, there's our key for this, at least. And we get anti-grav tiers. I don't particularly love anti-grav, but it is a huge tier rate right up. And it's kind of interesting with pop, right? It's kind of interesting with pop. So, I'll take it. Will, will this reach... Nah, unfortunately not. I hope for the best. Let me get Smooth Stone here. One of the better boss items you can get. But yeah, I, th I think with Pop, actually, Anti-Grav is pretty fun. I like it. And then there's him decaying as well. The decaying status effect doesn't seem to last very long on bosses, but that's kind of to be expected. Ah, I have my Holy Mantle here, though, so that wasn't too bad. Yeah, Smooth Stone is making us do 50% more damage to these bosses here, which is rather nice. Okay, you chill out. I'm not applying Decay tons, though. So, will we get an item here? We did get an item. So, maybe I've read it wrong. Maybe it is specifically bosses that give you them, and I just wasn't reading it right. But I think it did say any enemy has a chance. We're just seeing it mainly from bosses. But that boss didn't. Okay. So, it must just be that bosses have a higher chance of doing so. But Little Lamb here is pretty decent. We can, uh... Use him to get some explosives going on. See, we open that up. Oh, now that's an interesting prospect right there. You decay. Thank you. Oh, come on now. You can open that up. I was hoping you'd do it through the wall, but apparently not. Okay, good. Right, it's going to be a little bit tricky to do. I'm going to have to kind of wait each time. There you go. I'm going to grab this because this thing's wacky as all hell. Our tier should go absolutely oogly boogly wild now. My goodness, this is annoying. This is an annoying room to uh, work our way through right now. How are you not blowing this up, my guy? Oh my lord, destroy the chest, please. Okay, he's he's just incapable of destroying this chest. I need to like push it out of this sort of confinement that it's in. How is that not blowing it up? Oh my god. There you go. Wow, that took more doing than it should have had. But yeah, so now our tiers are going to go wacky all over the place. But I believe with this trinket, I'm just going to drop it and check. Uh, tiers up, spectral tiers, yeah. It, it, it's pretty good. Although, does Antigraph already give you spectral? I don't think it does, does it? Still, I'm going to stick with this because it's weird. It's weird and it's different, so why not? I do not mind it. But we've, we've lost our little friend here. I'll pop a pill, why not? Little, little pretty fly, lovely. Um, secret room's likely to be here. Good stuff. Hey, little puzzle piece. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. Uh, actually, let's quickly go back and go to our shop here. It's a little far away, but 
I don't particularly mind the walk back. A nice little jaunt on the way. By the way, I do realize that in the last episode I uploaded the um, showcase of Edith, I accidentally cut the video short. I think my recording software just bugged out there. So I apologize for those of you that noticed that and uh, were wondering what happened. Cherry Bomb. Um, I never really remember how good Cherry Bomb is. On use, the player picks up a small red bomb that deals no damage to the player and doesn't break rocks. It's not amazing, is it? It's not amazing. But do you know what? It's different. It's different. I'll take it. Unfortunately, not it not breaking rocks is a little upsetting. But at the same time, I think getting a infinite bomb that's very quick recharge would be kind of strong. So I think I'll accept it and move on to the next floor. Oh, we haven't even done the boss yet. I thought we had. I did some decent damage there. It recharges very quickly as well, so... You can use it quite effectively in regular combat. I think for bosses, it's not going to be super, super useful. Yeah, I'm liking having anti-grab with all these lingering pop shots. It's actually kind of nice. Hey, we got an item there. We got Pet Peeve. Nice. We get ourselves PB and J here. Lovely. And Devil Deal-wise... There's some sort of baby there. And we got this. I'll take that. Thank you. And we'll go. Yeah, I'm going to say I want, to, I want to take devil items here. Oop, one moment. I'm just going to have to pause real quick. Okay, let's do this. So we got one little fella here so far. But I'm, I'm hoping at some point I'm going to get like a stacked up craziness of devil deal items going on. Um, and get quite a few of them at one time. At the minute, I'm not getting a ton. I'm not getting a ton. Um... But it's, it seems like a really, really cool item. I mean, like, temporary items are an idea that isn't messed with a ton. Um, but can be pretty intriguing. It can be pretty intriguing. Get a little bit more Devil Deal chance there. Why the hell not? Blow up a few fellas for a bit of money. You die before you uh, fly. God damn it. He didn't die before he fly. I do like the fact that you can, like, hold the bomb while it's cooking sort of thing. Throw it when you're ready. Yeah, it's, it's like very, very small radius on the explosion and stuff, so it's not crazy. But that is pretty useful. That is pretty useful. Hey, Pet Peeve doing his thing. You do you. One second. Yeah, I'm kind of suspecting that it'll be the case that once we get later into the run, enemies maybe have higher HP pools. It'll be something to do with that. Like, these weaker enemies have the chance to give us a devil item, but the chances are quite low. And then maybe the harder enemies that take a bit longer to kill. Or, like, when we get to the floors where devil, uh, devils, um, bosses start spawning, like, regularly in normal rooms. Then we'll start getting a lot more. I'm thinking early game it's not going to stack up quite as crazily, which is probably a good thing because it keeps it a bit more balanced. Uh, and then later game it might start getting a bit more wild. We've lost Pet Peeve. We've lost Pet Peeve. Oh, the, oh, there you go. There you go. We got one. That's our first one from a regular enemy there. Okay, nice. Ooh. See, this is an interesting thing here, because I'd actually be really down to use this, but it would remove the showcase item, so we kind of can't. <laughs> Bit of a shame. But the D100 is kind of, kind of interesting. But yeah, we got Imp Soda here. Going to be able to drop some critical shots now and again. That's kind of nice. See, like that, that bomb there did like a tiniest bit of damage to that enemy. Like hardly any. I don't think this is going to be the premier item for us. I do kind of like the fact that our crits are going to linger. Like, when we fire off a crit shot, it is just going to hang around until it hits something most of the time, which I kind of like. There you go, look. Got a nice little crit there, and another one. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm actually kind of intrigued by this weird little synergy we've got going on as well, so I'm not fully committed to a reroll here. Don't fly away, don't fly away. Oh, he didn't fly away, but he didn't get killed by my cherry bomb, which I also find quite offensive. Come on, my guy. You know, oh, th really? That spider didn't die there? Okay. We've got Holy Mantle. We shouldn't be getting hit as much as we have been. Okay. But yeah, so it seems that bosses are going to be giving them pretty regularly. Not every time, as we've seen, but pretty regularly. But then when it comes to um, normal enemies, it's, it's definitely going to be a little bit less common. Oh, I was hoping he'd eat that. I did do okay damage to him, though. The crits are going to be good here, though, because as I said, with them lingering around for a good amount of time, he's eventually going to, like, pop up into them. Don't they, obviously, they don't linger forever. We'd need, uh, like, a coconut item, I can't remember what it's called now, that allows them to linger for a really long time. 
Hey, there's a crit. Beautiful stuff. Ah, and we lost Imp Soda. The last remaining crit is flying in the air now. It is gone. Oh, that did hit him. Okay, well, nice. I do like the fact that him spawning balls gives me uh, growing damage. But yeah, this trinket is really not, not helping with being accurate, is it? We might want to get rid. <laughs> as much as it is sort of funny, it's uh, it's clearly making it very, very hard to actually hit him. So I'm going to drop it for now. Yeah, that's... <laughs> damage output is way, way better when that's gone. Hey, we get the firecracker flower for now. Lovely stuff. Uh, we'll keep just going to the next floor here. I know I've got money for the shop or almost enough, but I, I can always just buy something on this floor. Yeah, so for now we've got the firecracker flower, which is a pretty good addition. There you go. There's one of them lined up. I'll leave that on you and you. There you go. Firecracker flower's not even getting a chance to pop right now. We're killing them way before. And I'm glad I saved my key now, actually. Very glad I saved my key. Have we got a crab underneath us? Yes, we do. I'm going to throw a cherry bomb on you to stop you being annoying. If the crab could, like, get out from under the ground and let me actually shoot it for, for like, half a second, that would be just dandy. Nah. Okay, there you go, finally. You are a pain. A huge pain. Oh, poison shot. We're getting quite a lot of different... Um, status effects on our tiers at the minute. We've got this tumor and we got this. I haven't seen our effigy uh, pop up once yet, which is kind of crazy. Would have thought we'd have seen one of those go by now. The enemies are dying way before our firecracker gets a chance to do anything. Which I don't particularly mind. See, almost got enough of this shop here. I knew it was valuable in there, waiting to the next floor. Just give us a penny. That's all we need. That's all we need. Dude, how a sack with no penny in it? How dare you? Firecracker flower. Come on. Pop. Do your thing. There you go. We finally got one firecracker to do its thing. It took a bit of time, but it got there in the end. Now, yeah, we don't have spectral at the minute, so these guys are a little more tricky. But that actually opened that up very, very quickly for us, so... No problem whatsoever. Hey, there's another item. We get the Blazing Iris. So it, it definitely can give us modded ones. I mean, we found that out with the first one. But just to sort of re-comment on that. We get the Blazing Iris here. I am looking forward to the later floors now. Because it seems like it's going to get kind of wild. Ooh, there you go. Blazing Iris spawned a little rainbow fire thing underneath that. He seems to be spawning fires here and there. I like you, Blazing Iris. You're a good friend to me. Uh, I got hit by something literally immediately there. I'm not even sure what. Oh, all of you got to go before you spawn a ton of these dudes. Okay. Boss, I think I'm just going to go for. Don't you guys... Aren't you guys supposed to lay poison down? Ooh, Blazing Iris. There you go. So that's, that's a good fire placement, Iris. Ooh, there you go. And then we get this. We get fire jets. And we got, we got, wait, we got two items there. We got Eve's nail polish and the uh, the fire jets item. Ooh, hello. Uh, we get ourselves temperance, which, you know what? I'll actually pop that down right now. Why not? Hey, wasn't expecting that. Certainly quite nice. Uh, we got ourselves the gift card, which we quite like. Okay, let's head on back to the shop real quick. I said I was going to. But we've got, we've got quite a few items here. We've got two items off of that one boss. I think that's because with bosses like Pin and, and that guy, each segment counts as its own boss. And so each one has an individual chance of granting us an item. So they have the chance of getting multiple items from those dudes. Um, oh, I'll definitely take Aubrey at this point, I think. Um, on the next floor, we can try and get ourselves a better active item. Because I, I, the Cherry Bomb is fine, but it, it, it's just fine. It's nothing more. By the way, can you guys hear my chair squeaking? I'm hoping that's not too annoying. I'm hoping I've got my filters set up reasonably well so that it's not too audible. Um, I spent quite a while fiddling with my mic settings to try and get a situation where I can have like my fan on in the room and, and have other, other things in the room that are making noise that you guys can't hear. I'm hoping I've done a reasonably effective job of that. But I'm not entirely sure. I'm not the most convinced. 
But yeah, we, we saw this item here, um, the fire item in a previous showcase run we did. It's cool to see it come back, even if only for a short time. But it's, it's doing a good job right now. Spurt and fire. It's kind of nice to have it with anti-grav, actually, because it doesn't arc. It's a lot uh, harder to hit yourself when it doesn't arc. We do have a sack room there. If Oh, dude, hit myself straight away in this room because um, the rock's in front of me. Yeah, we do have a sack room. I'm, I'm definitely tempted by a sack room. Okay, we lost those items now. Do not worry. Do not fret. We shall gain more. Ow. I'm very glad we have Holy Mantle. I'm taking some really, really dumb damage. I'm saving myself from it. Oh, there you go. Effigy finally procced. Effigy is kind of a weird one because it's, it's good for us, but also it's reducing the amount of enemies we kill, so less chance of getting devil items. Oh, this room should absolutely slap for us. This room, we should get a lot of items. There's one. There's Mum's knife. There's another item. There's another item, yeah. I had a feeling that was going to be a good one, so we got quite a number of items off of the back of that. Oh, we've got Spoonbender as well, baby. Hell yes. I like it for Spoonbender. Especially with Mum's knife here. I know we won't have Mum's knife for long, but still. Oh, there you go. we got this, this, this little guy as well. Yeah, we're definitely at, like, into the territory of things spawning a bit more often now. And this item becoming quite special. Oh, come on. We have terrible range. Absolutely terrible range. Pot of gold, I'll take. We got a bargain chip here. Um, No thank you, I don't think. I will play it into you a little bit, though, and see if you can give me a better active item. I wonder if you can. Unicorn. Grants flight and speed while held. Um, on use grants my unicorn effect. Oh, okay. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. That's pretty good. That's pretty goddamn good. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know there was any modded versions of the pony items. Oh, the herming with this thing is exquisite. Oh no, we're about to lose it The Mum's knife is almost gone. Stay out of the bottomless pit is gone. I'm trying to, Ah, oh, I, I tried my best to take advantage. That's kind of a cool idea for an active. It's like a mix between a few different actives. Apparently, I'm not dealing any damage to him guy, this guy there, but I'm sorry, I called him him guy there. Dealing any damage to him guy. Hello, big papa. Thank you. Um, Gift card? Yeah, why not? Pop it there. Should we get another devil item? It's not the most exciting, but oh, you bastard. Too spooky, why not? And then we might as well play this guy considering there's quite a lot of hearts about. It's not an item, my good sir. Hey, there you go. Um, adrenaline, yeah. Not the best, but I shall take it. Okay, give me that back. We've not seen our item room yet this floor. Kind of surprising. I want to see, I want to see a run where I can make the Eternal Car Battery work somehow. But I've still not really sort of found out what would, what would be something that's really good with the Eternal Car Battery. I guess like Diplopia, if that would work, but I don't even know if it would. I'm guessing it would, because it seems like an interaction that that should have. I keep forgetting I've got Herming now. It's good. Thunder Thighs. Would lower our speed quite a lot, but I think it's worthwhile right now. Like the, the, the lowered speed is, uh, oh wait, no. This, um, this active item sets my speed to 1.5, guaranteed. So I actually don't lose any speed for picking that up, so... It was definitely a good thing to pick up. 
Got an Ace of Hearts here. I actually might use the Ace of Hearts in this large room with all of these uh, tinctures. There you go. All I wanted was one soul heart of it, and I got that, so I'm pretty happy. Check this out. Ow. I hurt myself there. Oh, I keep forgetting I can walk over things. That's how I hurt myself. You fool. You fool. Right. Let's head on back now. Oh, sorry, Fiend Folio. I'm causing errors for you. Right, down we go. So far, I'm really liking this item. As, as we can clearly see, it gets better with age. The longer you, uh... The, the, sort of the later you get into a run, the better it's going to be. Bit of Gemini there. Don't mind that. It's not anything crazy, but it's nice. Ooh, lovely. Yeah, having her with this setup is lovely too. I, I, I guess I'll grab the full card. Not that I'm going to need it with my uh, current timings. Not in time to thingy here. Oh, we do get the uh, curse where everything's champions. Oh, Lord. I say, because then we can linger and then they just sort of make their way towards the enemy of their own accord, which I quite like. They kind of have like a slight activation time, though, where they don't... Ooh, that's a smelt thingy there. They have their own sort of activation time where they linger in the air for a bit and then realize that they're herming and then start herming. <laughs> hey, there's another item. Beautiful. Sometimes it takes them a little, a little while to get to us, the items. I like the animation for the uh, for the items making their way towards as well. I think that's really, really cool. Amazing. Boss we don't want to go for. Yeah, actually, no. I was going to say boss we don't want to go for yet, but I think we're fine. Really? I've never seen a puzzle piece give a trinket before. Never mind that piece of, of garbage. That's, uh, that's quite annoying. That is quite annoying. I'm hoping to get a little item there. Turns out I get a lovely little absolutely garbage trinket. There we go. A few items there, including Kapala. Very nice. In Spirit of the Night. Lovely. Okay. Down we go. And like I said, 90 seconds is actually such a long time for them to last as well. That If you get one of the boss, you're actually going to get to use it for a good amount of time on the next floor. Very, very positive. And I think now should be the time where... We, I guess say we're, we're going to be seeing items coming at us like every couple of rooms. Maybe not every couple of rooms, but every five or six rooms. We're going to be getting a new item because the enemies on these floors just have higher HP pools and stuff, so... Here's herping. And also, as well, some of the rooms are just packed with more enemies. I wonder if you'll give me one. You didn't, but you did give me a, an item. So, certainly pretty useful nonetheless. Should be going to the cash rooms when I have the chance. Unfortunately, not very useful for us this time around. Don't lose my crits. I like my imp soda. I've got such high luck that I'm firing crits off like crazy right now. Okay, beautiful. I'm guessing we're going to get an item from this room at some point. Yep, there you go. Sickle cell. I think sickle cell is piercing, right? Sickle cell seems good for us right now. We're about to lose imp soda though. We've got something that's just making everything bleed. I like that. <laughs> it's it's doing quite some work. Honestly, this with Herming and everything that's going on. I think it's Kapala that's making us so strong right now, though. We're, 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 we're going to lose Kapala pretty shortly. But Kapala's clearly doing some good stuff. That's the one that makes it so that all enemies of the same type take damage at the same time. Which, most rooms are designed around using the same enemies. So Kapala's incredibly strong, as you can clearly see. Hey, we got our good friend... A good friend, little lamb back. I'll say good friend. He is hellbent on trying to kill me, so... There you go. We lost Kapala there. So we're not going to quite have that crazy power yet. We're going to lose out on some of that for a little bit. We've not actually gained any damage, I don't think. Our only damage has been from the, um, what's it called, item. 
I can't remember the name of it now. The one that gives us uh, damage when we kill things. So our damage isn't actually amazing, but we've got some really good stuff working around it. Ooh, bit of sack head, nice. We're getting some good items from chests here. Go get. I'm kind of expecting those guys to uh, to pop out with a few items there, because considering they spawned a bunch of babies, but didn't get so lucky. Did not get so lucky. Okay, boss time. Get another right before the boss. Quick little light before the boss. Nah. We'll probably get one from him, though. Oh, bugger. Please don't lose my perfection. I didn't realize he was going to land that close to the goddamn door. Hey, we got full moon here. Full moon might actually do a number on this guy. I mean, we did a number on him in general. Bit of birthday cake. Lovely. Down we go. I think we've all always had, like, from these last few floors, we kind of always had, like, two extra items on the go at once at least. Which I think for devil deal items, that's pretty goddamn good. Like I said, it's likely to be more the later into the run we get, by the looks of it. Sackhead. Oh, who are you guys? Anything that spawns more enemies are the ones that I want to see. Spawning more enemies, you're giving me more chance to get more devil deal items. Like these guys. These guys are good for us. There's Imp Soda. Imp Soda just keeps making its way back to us. It's great. <laughs> it's like, oh, you want crits? I got crits for you, baby. I got crits for you. We kind of need them as well. The, crits, uh, the crit damage is, is pretty gnarly. Oop, Effigy Room. Again, Effigy Room's maybe not the best thing for us anymore. But they exist and we have to deal. I always forget about those enemies that, like, dive either side of the wall. Wow. That is not, not much from a cash room there. I think we're heading the right way by the looks of things. Stop with your diving, fellas. Hey, another item here. It's, it's unfortunately just ghost baby, so not going to have the biggest impact on our run. But still, it's nice. We do get to keep our uh, crits for the boss here as well. Should help quite a bit. Probably want to try and take out the um, the friends first so we get some damage up. Hopefully we don't lose perfection here. This guy can sometimes do a number on me. And I think we're going to lose Imp Soda just before the end of this phase. Oh, oh, oh. Some of the tiers there were like stacked on top of each other. What's going on? How come they're all like Caddy Wampus? What's, what's, what's all this about? Right, there you go. Hey, we get goat head. A little bit late, goat head, but, but I'll accept it. I'll accept it. Take both of those. And up we go, baby. Up we go. Yeah, it's been a very, a very devilish run. Very devilish indeed. I've quite enjoyed it. A very cool item indeed. A good way of getting Imp Soda on the regular without having to actually find Imp Soda, apparently. <laughs> That's been the main takeaway here. I always seem to find the uh, effigy item does a lot more on the later floors. I think it's maybe just you just notice it more because the rooms take longer. Ooh, I, I'm actually gonna grab that and see where it takes us. Just a battery. Not particularly necessary for us. We're still holding on, grasping onto perfection. I did that just because I needed the invincibility because I wasn't con uh, convinced I wasn't going to get hit by that. <sighs> this fire attack also is another one that I don't like. Hey, we got an item from him for once and we got a decent item on top of that. Immaculate Heart ain't bad. And it's a damage up as well, I believe. 20% damage up? Can't remember exactly what, what it is now. Duality, again... Little bit too late there on the duality and goat head uh, front, but thank you for trying. Thank you for trying. Oh lord. No reflected for me, thank you. It's been a fairly quick run, but then again, a run where you're getting extra devil deal items 
It's probably gonna be a pretty quick run. Oh, we finally lost Gurhead, but that felt like a Gurhead lasted for ages though, didn't it? I felt like we had that for a really long time. Come on, give us another item before the boss. You know you want to. Bombs are key. Actually, pretty good pill there for us. Come on, one of you give in. I'm interested to see what the last floor goes like. There's a lot more bosses on the last floor, so we should get a lot of Devil Deal items. Oh, Brimstone for the boss, baby! Oh, we got Anti-Grev Brimstone as well, and Pop. Oh, this is weird. I kind of forgot we had all this. Making it a little more tricky than I'd hoped. Oh, we got Herming on it too, I forgot about that. We've got a lot of stuff that's very, uh, lending itself towards Brimstone Synergy. And it's green from poison as well. As all oh no! How dare you get rid of my perfection right before the floor where it's most important. But yeah, really cool to get brimstone right before the boss there. Beautiful. I like it. And we can open up these chests and see what's what. Unfortunately, a bunch of items I really don't like. <laughs> like, I think literally all of these items I'm not interested in. Um, I don't want either of those two. No, we lost duality. How dare they? But yeah, the Herming's kind of nice here. We've got Spurred with Herming as well. Spurred plus Herming's going to be good. We should hopefully see more items coming in from the boss kills here. Effigy on occasion. I don't know if Effigy can uh, proc on boss rooms with bosses in it. I don't know how that works. Unfortunately, the Anti-Grav Brim is not the best. like it's got two charge up times. Uh, seven seals, lovely. Someone needs to make a mod that makes it so that seven seals just spawns seven seals. Just actual live seals that like follow you around and do the same thing as the regular seven seals items. So that'd just be funny. Why, why, why wouldn't you want to do that? Oh, really? Can you teleport me to a room I've already been in? What use is that to me? All right, we're probably going to lose Brimstone very shortly here, but we did just gain Gimpy. Thank you, Gimpy. This seems like an awful idea, but I've committed to it now, so... It was pretty awful. Guess what? It was pretty awful. Do you know what the... I got a few burn hearts out of it. Not a completely awful result. Grab that back. Right, yes, we are unfortunately no longer with Brimstone. But don't worry. We shall have it back. I'm expecting it back. We got my shadow. Not the best, but useful. We lost Dark Powder. Is that what the item's called, Dark Powder? I feel like it is. Also, it doesn't feel right. Holy shit. What's going on in here? Apparently not enough to give me an item. How dare you? Okay, it was ev I went all the wrong ways, but it gives us more chance to get more items, so... Why not? I'm loving Spurred with Herming, by the way. I don't think Spurred normally Herms, does it? Just fought you, man. You're nothing to me. Hey, Dark ma uh, Dark Matter. We like Dark Matter. These large rooms with regular enemies are not what I want to see. I'm looking for big rooms with many a boss. See, now this is more like it. The chance for items is high. But are we going to get one? Apparently not. Oof. Apparently not. But yeah, I think overall we got a little bit unlucky. 
in terms of the item, especially on the last few floors here. But I think it w like it was a pretty big success, and it clearly showed the item had some some power to it. Like, imagine you get Goat Head early um, and can get like a guaranteed Devil Deal out of that, or like you get get a Brimstone to carry you for a few floors. It seems like a really really good item. We got Ouija board. Apparently, each phase counts as a different enemy killed. We get a bit of Ouija board there. That's not great, but it's fire it. The fire it aspect of it is useful at least. And Dark Matter is still doing its thing as well. Still getting a bit of damage from that. It's not going to run out before the end of this fight, I wouldn't think. I can't see anything, mind you, but that's 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 just that's just living life on a powerful Isaac run. It's just what it's like. There you go. We finish this out. Hope you guys did enjoy the showcase, and yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Oh, got a few more items there, and yeah, see you guys in the next one.